Bonjour. I am Valpre from the Notorial CID. What I'm covering today is going to be from a standpoint of DID. Of course, because that is my channel. However, this pretty much covers all levels of YouTube. The question being, is YouTube hard work? The answer is yes. YouTube is hard work. Before I started YouTube, did I think YouTube was hard work? I had a misconception, like probably a lot of you do. That's why I do think this video is important. Because those who do the YouTube videos are called creators for a reason. It takes your time. It can be a full-time job at times. Definitely because of the different components of uh, doing the videos. In order to be successful at anything, including the YouTube videos, you would need to continuously put out videos, which means you've got to set aside time within your day not only for the time that the video is taking place. There's a lot of behind the scenes work done. In other words, prior to you even getting the video up, depending upon what your channel was about, you have a lot of work to do. You have a lot of research, depending upon what your channel is about. Even if your channel is just about you and your day, you still have to prepare yourself and know exactly what you want to accomplish with this video. Then you get to the video. The video may be 10 minutes, 30 minutes, maybe an hour longer, depending upon what your topic is. But that time frame that you have for that particular video is not where the work ends. Now, as I mentioned, your work began way before the video even started. Then, after your video is completed, you're going to process the posting of your video within your channel. This takes time as well, because you have to set up your title, your description. You have to set up all of the important information that goes with your video. Once you've completed that, if you add translations, which it's very important to add translations, because if you add translations, you're reaching a broader spectrum of people to view your video. You're reaching a broader spectrum of people to hear what you're trying to say. To give you an idea, my personal channel, I obviously gather a topic. Sometimes I gather more information and there's more research to do. Like when uh, we made the DID awareness video and needed to know the history of DID and things of this nature. When we just even choose a topic or we just are making the video based on who we are that day, we still are processing what the video is going to have. Now, obviously, there are some of our authors who are not completely processing that, whether they be little or they just uh, are making the video for processing between our systems and our authors. But, that aside, when you're uploading your videos, the process of adding closed caption, which is important because then you can, of course, reach other parties as well, that may be uh, deaf or may not understand exactly what you're saying. So, this is an important process. 
depending upon how long your video is, it can take a couple of hours just to do that. Now you see, do they have a process where it automatically uploads? Well, sometimes yes, and sometimes no. And even if they do, you still have to go back in and revamp or check everything that's done. Because it's not foolproof, just like anything else. And you don't want your channel looking bad because you have misinformation or miswording and spelling and things of this nature, if you can help it. So say closed caption is a couple of hours of your time. After a closed caption, you're able to then process translations. They do have automatic translate. However, I will tell you that automatic translate is not foolproof either. With automatic translate, it's helpful. However, you're still going to go have to go back in through each language and you're going to have to post your title your description in their language. You're going to have to make sure that the, each word is completed, not based on your language, but the other language. Then once you get to the body of your video for your closed caption for that language, you're going to have to go over it with a fine tooth comb. There are going to be times when specific words are not translated within most of the languages. There are also going to be times when possibly complete sentences need to be placed within the boxes that they provide for your closed caption. So depending upon how many translations you complete, this can take quite a bit of your time as well. Hours may not be the standard, but it can take up to four hours for us to do complete translations. But you have to keep in mind, we do have a lot of persons that we're trying to reach to bring awareness to. So please, when you decide to do the translations, no, it does take time. This can be a full-time job. Do not come into doing YouTube videos and think it's not work, because it is. It is serious work. It is definitely work. Even if it's just a vlog about yourself, it is still work. There's nothing around that. You have to stay motivated. You have to have stick to and do your videos each day, especially when you first start. Because to get your videos out there and to build your name and to build your brand or interests of other parties, you've got to put in the time to do so. Now for us, obviously we're doing it every day also for us to build awareness between each other and our altars. For other parties, you would still be at your best to do it every single day. Rather, your motivation is to eventually get monetized or rather your vote motivation is to get your word out through social media, which YouTube is excellent to do so. You're still going to need to put that time in. Never go into starting a YouTube channel and think, oh, well, I'm going to just have fun. Now, it can be fun. Do not get me wrong. It's probably one of the best avenues if you have to choose it to be able to work. You are obviously handling your videos, well possibly, depending upon your channel again, handling your videos from home or personally handling your videos. You're doing something that you love and enjoy or something that you definitely need to get out there like we are with awareness. Uh, in between each other, getting that information. So it's definitely something that you've got to know you're going to be spending time doing. Is it worth it? Absolutely.
but you're going to have to stay motivated just to get the videos out each day. You're going to have to stay motivated just to do the research, to put in the time that's required. Most of us have other work that we're doing as well that's outside of the YouTube videos, especially those who start are, are going to be having other things that we do as well outside the YouTube videos. So you're going to have to definitely process your time properly so that you are effectively getting your videos out, but still also able to do whatever else you need to do within your life. This is a realistic view. I have a complete new respect for all the creators. Because prior to you stepping your foot into the water, you may think that it's just a simple, no problem type of thing to do. It's going to be so easy. No, anything worth doing is worth doing well. And that takes time and it takes effort. I am thinking about doing some learning videos to assist others because I know when we came into this to do the channel there were a lot of learning curves and if I could get somebody else over those learning curves quickly so that they can move on to the next portion of their being a creator that would be really wonderful. So I do say if you're interested in starting a YouTube channel, start it. You can do it. I'm sure you can do it well. But now you're getting into work. You're getting into time. And you're getting into something that you need to seriously be interested in to stay with. For it to be successful. This has been the Notorious DID. Like share, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell for our other videos. Videos you'll be the first to know as soon as they're posted. Let me know in the comments down below if you think it's a good idea for me to do the videos in learning uh, as far as processing different things that you need to require on YouTube to successfully get to that next spot that you need to get to or things that I can make easier for you that aren't necessarily easy at first. This has been Valpre and I say adios.